What's up guys, Adam at Time Warp Custom Paint here. You guys have asked, and here it is in this video tutorial. I'm gonna show you the steps and the supplies that you need to be able to paint this Serape style Mexican blanket design. Let's get right to it. For this project, I'll be using Limeline Metal Flake. I love this stuff because it's formulated to spray out of a 1.4 spray tip or bigger. And it's also pre-measured, so one pack mixes with one point of clear coat. We're simply just gonna follow the directions on the back of the packet. This Metal Flake and all the other products that we're gonna be using is available on my Amazon affiliate page. You'll find the link in the description. We're gonna start by pouring off some black base coat made by Speedo Coat. Then I'm gonna thin it out about one to one with some urethane reducer to make it spray better through my paint gun. Having disposable lids and liners like these makes the job way easier. up a pint of clear coat for our metal flake mixture. According to the directions on the clear coat, we're going to mix this at a 4 to 1 ratio. Four parts clear coat, one part hardener. Just like you would with a Kool-Aid packet, you're going to add the metal flake to the clear coat and mix it up. Now that the metal flake is applied, I'm gonna mix up some more clear coat without metal flake to help smooth out the texture that we can sand out when it's dry.
there with me guys we're about ready to jump into some graphics here if you're getting any value out of this video so far do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button and mix up the first candy color. All of the colors that I'm using for the graphics, whether it's pink or brown like I'm doing here, they're all mixed the same way. I'm using House of Color Concentrates, so it needs to be diluted with a clear base coat. I'm mixing this at a two to one ratio, two parts clear base, one part candy. This isn't a hard rule though, you can mix this however you want at different ratios to get a different color intensity. Then I'm going to add a little bit of urethane reducer so we can thin it out to make it sprayable through the airbrush.
important to have the understanding that you don't need to paint all of your graphics onto one layer at one time. A lot of paint jobs you may be able to do this and that's great, but if you're looking to paint more complex paint jobs like this, it's best to clear between and then sand the clear coat for the next set of graphics. still with me bless your heart because i really appreciate you guys watching and like i said before if you're getting any value out of this video hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button that way you'll be notified when i have new content coming out that way you don't miss anything in this next segment you're going to be able to see firsthand the magic of candies they're not like any other paints they're transparent i would compare them to like a dye or like a food coloring if you guys have any questions or you just want to let me know what projects you're working on, hit me up in the comment section.
ride. If you guys have any questions with that, just let me know. If your airbrush isn't spraying smoothly or you're getting paint splatter, you might want to add a little more reducer to your mixture to thin your paint out a little more. Like I said, hit me up in the comment section. Remember that you can shop for products that I used in this video on my Amazon affiliate page. The link is in the description. Be sure to check out my other custom paint tutorials and hit that comment section and let me know what videos you want me to make. Thanks for watching.